Hey guys, welcome to Kari Pacellus, an experimental vision novel by Lee. The description says that you're placed in the role of an ethical administration intern with an emanic research company called GPLTD. With each passing week, something in your work changes, and tasks that may have started out innocent quickly seem to be turning into something strange or even sinister. Will you uncover the truth? So, without further ado, let's begin. You have been hired as an ethical administration intern for a company called GPLTD. The position has required you to move to a small town in a remote location. Applying for the position on a whim, you know little of the company and its operations. You have been given a modest starting salary and a subsidized apartment. In your application, you are required to complete the following assessment. 1. I am able to work with little to no supervision. The options are blank. Okay. 3. I am able to follow instructions. These options are also blank, and we skip the second question. Hmm. Three again. I can notice mistakes. Yeah, I can. Four. I do not question that. Okay. Which disturbs me. Five. I am able to make decisions without knowing the outcome. 6. I would like to work with the GPLTD. Oh, <laughs> I guess I have no choice then. Yes. It is your first week as an ethical administration intern with GPLTD. You have furnished your apartment with a small bed. Your fellow colleagues smile when you walk past them. You are situated in a small office where you find a piece of paper and a pen on the desk. A questionnaire. One. Black options. You circle a letter and leave. Each day of your first week follows this pattern. With no one to report to, you spend the remaining hours of each day walking around company property. Each evening, over shared drinks with colleagues, you learn the business of the company that has employed you. Research While lying in bed on Friday night, you hear a knock and find a letter under apartment's front door. A questionnaire. 1. I do not need to know about the company that I work for in order to successfully perform my job. Yes? It is your second week as an ethical administration intern with GPLTD. You have furnished your apartment with a small bed and a chair. Your fellow colleagues notice you when you walk past them. You return to your office to see another questionnaire. Hmm. I pick 37. You wonder for a moment what the numbers could mean, 
then you choose one. Each day of the second week follows this pattern. Still with no one to report to you, you leave and spend the remaining hours of each day sleeping. You realize that because of this, you can no longer sleep at night. You think that you would like to know about the numbers, but you do not say anything. On Friday night, you write yourself a questionnaire. 1. I do not want to know what these numbers mean. Yes. And you with a blank. No? It is your third week as an ethical administration intern with GPLTD. You have furnished your apartment with a small bed, a chair, and a lamp. Your fellow colleagues ignore you when you walk past them. You return to your office and find a new piece of paper. Another questionnaire. One. John, 37. Maria, 5. Dana, 63. Sadie, 0. I'm gonna pick John because he's the closest to my age. Well, I'm 21, but you know what I mean. You find yourself unable to circle a letter for several hours. Eventually, you leave without completing the questionnaire. Each day of a third week follows this pattern. With nothing to do, you sit in your office and stare at the wall. On Thursday night, you sit in your apartment, thinking. On Friday morning, you write the following questionnaire, leaving it in your office before leaving. 1. John 37, Maria 5, Dana 63, Sadie 0. I'll stick with John. Oh, E, which is blank. Okay, I'll still stick with John though. If you have looked up the meaning of Cavia Percellus, well, I ha have not, so I don't know. You are thinking much too hard about this. It is your fourth week as an ethical administration intern with GPLTD. You have furnished your apartment with a small bed, a chair, a lamp, and the hum of a HVAC. You didn't notice the sound before. If you've gone to look up the meaning of HVAC, don't worry. You're a normal human being. Though, you won't admit to it. You are too nervous to notice how your colleagues receive you. You return to your office and see a magical. piece of paper and a pen. Seriously, what were you expecting? Also, there's a questionnaire. One. E, which is blank, okay. You circle the only available option and leave. Each day of your fourth week follows this pattern. You spend the remaining hours of each day listening to the HVAC. On Thursday night, you sit in your apartment doing nothing. On Friday, before leaving your apartment, you hear a knock at your door. Do you open it? Sure. You decide to open the door. Hello? 
a friendly young woman smiles at you. Seeing her, your anxiety is relieved. There was never anything to worry about. You have been paranoid. Your choices never meant anything. You have foolishly imagined yourself a guinea pig in some experiment. Yes. Everything is fine. Right? I have some bad news. We have been monitoring your work over the past weeks. We do not feel that you are a good fit with the GPLTD. Please, take the rest of the day to collect your things and leave. Normal end? Oh. Okay. Well, this was one of the endings of Kaga Priscilla's. But I'm really curious what's gonna happen if I pick the other option. So, let's check it out. Alright, this time, I will not open the door. You decide not to open the door. Nothing happens. You continue working as an ethical administration intern with GPLTD. Follow instructions. You do not ask questions. You are able to make decisions without knowing the outcome. Fool. Have you stopped to think about what something like ethical administration might mean? What is ethical administration? What does ethics mean to research? Could ethics be something as simple as making a choice between A and D? What have you been choosing? Sometime later, when your internship is complete, you find the following headline. GPLTD has been found to be authorizing illegal and dangerous human experiments. True end. Oh, alright then. Well, this was the true end of Kavya Porcellus. I'm honestly a little bit confused of this game, like the game's plot. But I guess I was a part of the human experiments. I'm not sure what I wanted out from it though. I got so many questions to this, because this really really confuses me. Either way, I did enjoy this game. And it's actually the first time I'm playing a visual novel. So, I'm thinking that I will definitely play more visual novels in the future. And there's actually one coming up very very soon. Anyways, Kevin Porcellus was an interesting game. I really enjoyed the creepy atmosphere it gave me. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this game interesting. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.